In this video, we're going to focus on how we can control the step size. For example, here we want to have an increment of 4, 8, 12, etc., etc. We can also even change this to increment of 2, increment of 5, or increment of 10, or any other number that we want. So let's start to explore how we can control and modify the Y scale calculation here. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' question, which is how to control the ticks steps on the Y scale in Chart.js. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to hide show data labels in the scatter chart in Chart.js, which is a quite interesting, and this is part two. There's another video, it's part one. It's highly recommendable even to explore this one. However, in here, if I scroll down here, you can see here this question came from Ashwin Apinov. A special thank you to Ashwin for asking this question, and this is what ask Ashwin ask. Sir, can you please say how to increase the y-axis by 2 or 5 or 10? For example, I have a value of 10. My y-axis have to increase by 2 or 5. May I know how to do this, sir? Thanks. All right. So I assume here you're going to focus on the steps. So let's start and work on that right now. So in here, what I want to do here first is to get the default code. So to do this, make sure you go to chartjs 3com getting started to this specific link. For some reason, I get this error here, but on my Firefox, it works fine. Why? I do not know. However, in here, we want to copy this chunk of code. So I'm going to copy this code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this video here that explains it all. So we're going to paste this in here. And once we paste it, I want to cut out this and put it in here as well for the title. And once I did this, save this and refresh. All right. So now we have our ticks here. And you can see here this scale is a default scale. And right now it's probably in a very uh, desirable structure, like let's say two. But let's say you want to have a step increment of five. So we 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, etc., etc. So how can we do this? Well, for that, we need to adjust item in the scale here. So it's basically specifically targeted on the Y scale. And what we really want is two things. First of all, we need to specify a minimum and, a, and maximum value, or at least that will be very desirable. But we can do that later on. So what we really want to do here is gear toward the ticks itself. This is very important because in the ticks itself, and in here we can say step size, where we can control the size. And let's say here we want to put it on 5. So that would mean that it will always increment with a value of 5. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see here now, this has readjusted itself beautifully. And this can be useful. And you can even control here with a minimum and maximum value, which can be useful as well, because then you will have a 0 point, let's say 0, and then maybe you want to uh, have it all up to 10 or 100, for example. Well, let's do that. We can do here. All we have to do here is in the Y, putting an enter, we say a minimum equals zero. So it will always be shown. And we have a maximum here equals, uh, well, let's say 100. We put here comma as well. If we save this, refresh, now you can see we have these steps here. So these are one of the options. And maybe, well, let's remove this for now. Maybe you want to have like extra space here because maybe this is uh, n uh, the space here is not big enough for that there's another option it's called grace grace is a very useful one you can put in here we say just grace and grace basically will always ensure that there's a certain amount of space between here right now it's fine but if i do here on 20 you will see if i put this on 20 oh sorry of course this doesn't work yet because we didn't activate grace yet you can see here now what happens it will have always uh, it will hit the top and sometimes you don't want this so grace is a very useful item here where you have basically extra space between the the, the top grid line and of course the bar so let's do this one here let's say you have five percent and this is a string value so we make sure that this is in quotation and save that so once we do that refresh you can see here now we get a few extra space here and now in this case here probably it's slightly too much Maybe we can do here a exact number of five. There you are. That doesn't work as well. Maybe one. Let's see here if we can get it anything. 
it doesn't work as much here however this is basically one of the options as well but in this case this is probably not the most desirable option as you can see the result is not desirable but this is the one you want here and you can do this as well with 10 if i save this go back here and refresh there we are and we could do it as well with one if we do it one you will see here we get a lot of items uh, oh i guess one doesn't work here but two does in this case two is probably the most possible uh, the least value and we can do here we can do anything if we do four let's look at that it changes as well and makes it an increment of four that's basically how you can control the step size on your y scale so if you like this video and maybe you want to go even more deeper in something else i highly recommend you to try to explore this one here we're going to how to fix the x axis scale in the time card is on a chart yes this is related to the x axis and if you're going to play around with time this is a very interesting item as well